Hi there, welcome to our channel Virtual Workshop. In this video, we are going to know about the memory layout of a C program. We will see when a program runs, how all its components resides in the memory. First of all, we will see what and all are the components of a program. A program consists of functions, caller or callee, local variables that are declared inside the functions, global variables, those are declared outside the functions, static variables, those are declared with the prefix static, and dynamic memory allocation. So let's see how these components resides in a memory when a program runs. This is a basic memory layout. We are dealing here with the logical addresses. So we have a high memory address and low memory address. So one by one we will see how a program resides in a memory. So first we will see the code segment. In the code segment we will see it contains program instructions whatever instructions you have written in a program this code segment will contain all those the second segment comes as data segment whatever variables you have defined in your program only the global and the static variables that are initialized will go into the data segment I have mentioned here as other than zero so the variables those are declared and defined and initialized as zero will not be part of the data segment next comes the BSS segment BSS means block started by symbol so this is a segment where uninitialized global and static variables will reside so the variables that you have not initialized will reside in the BSS segment and the variables which have you have initialized with zero that also will reside inside the BSS segment right the uninitialized global and static variables will be initialized to zero at the runtime now comes the heap so heap is the part of memory which is utilized for dynamically allocated memory whatever memory you are allocating dynamically in your program will reside inside the heap the last comes the stack so stack is a memory which holds the local variables which holds the functions you are calling in your programs so whenever a function is being called it is being pushed to stack and the local variables inside the functions given the memory inside the stack so you can see with an empty space between those this is a free space free memory for growing of stack and heap so stack always grows from high memory to low memory and heap grows from low memory to high memory so we'll see how the stack frame layout looks like and how it works so again we have defined a high memory address and low memory address and the arrow depicts that it is growing from high memory address to low memory address that stack frame and we have written a simple example like we have written one function test inside that we are calling a function foo which is having three arguments all are of int type so let's see when you call this function how it is being pushed into the stack see so this is the stack frame layout whenever you call a function foo it is being pushed into the stack as having a variable space for c that we have given a value 50 for b we have given a value 40 for a we have given a value 30 all of the three variables argument variables will be given a memory in the stack 
then comes your return address whenever a function returns it has to go back to the caller function so that return address will be specified here where it has to go back so basically it has to go back to the caller function so that return address has been specified here now when you call that function the function definition will be there right function definition will be executed so that also will be put inside the stack frame the variables of that function will be put inside the stack frame so this part will be taken care by the callee so here we can see the local variable 1 local variable 2 local variable 3 all these things will be pushed into the stack like this so this is how actual stack frame looks like so this complete stack frame this complete stack frame will be pushed into the stack and once the function call part is completed it will be popped out from the stack okay so that's all for this video i have not done any practical session in this video because for that we need binary utils commands knowledge that will be running on the Linux platform. So that will be my upcoming video. There we will be doing analysis on the binaries that you have generated from the C program. For that subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the upcoming videos. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends. Till then happy learning.